And now we're going to get back into our Halo comfort zone. Okay, because I, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't in my comfort zone with that game. It, it's a different type of feel for a Halo, right? And, and it's not something we're accustomed to. Now we're going to go back to this traditional Slayer. I think both teams are going to be a little more comfortable, and, and you're going to see optimal play out of both teams. Uh, Reality Check is going to step up this game. I, I do feel that, especially with uh, the two others they have. They look like they're going to really do well with the DMR and the Sniper. I feel like this type of map favors a Suddeth strategy. And, and what I mean by that is, if you've watched the Suddeth Twins in the past, and even Domi and Dramas as well, very, very aggressive players. They are pedal to the metal, full yeah. uh, gas on the pedal there. So I would clearly expect they it. They only hold Two forward. players jumping forward here, fighting for these rockets. Dramas on your screen to open up this one. Does spot a player right in front of him that's weak. Look at that. The Suddeth yeah. Twins and everybody pushed up. Full aggression on there, two in one here. Also, quickly, Dramas has the rockets in his yeah. back pocket. They did a great job getting those rockets, and then now it's going to be about how you control those rockets. You know, I'm not necessarily about uh, being too aggressive with the rockets, to be honest. I think getting four kills out of them over a decent period of time is just as effective. I agree, That weapon, obviously being a player uh, newer Shield to the scene, DMR, oftentimes a favorable weapon there. Makes a smart decision. Very, very smart play. He's got a communication coming out from Reality Check. It looks like they're trying to set up uh, some type of a push here into the sniper tower. And now, Dramas getting the height advantage. Those rockets in the back smack. And that was a big loss. And, and there you go. That's what I'm talking about, the aggression with the rockets. To be the guy that, to first be up there, uh, and, and now you're going to lose the rockets, you lost a little bit for your team there. Absolutely, but now it's going to be repent gaming. They have the rockets in the back pocket here. And they're going to take it back. Now, reality check pushing in. Looking for the triple. triple. There's the triple kill. He had the over right in front of him, but that goes to show over there for uh, reality check. All four members pushed into the base. Very, very uh, coordinated. Uh, yeah, that was a good push by Reality Check to kind of make up for that big mistake by losing Rockets. Uh, obviously, they're not at a big advantage right now, and they probably would have been at a much bigger advantage had they held on to those Rockets. But still, good recovery by uh, RC. Absolutely. Domi going to find himself a scattershot kill. Finding another one as well, 11 to 8, or make that 12 to 8. Reality Check taking a small little lead here. But again, we talk about the aggressive play. Domi. Using his smarts here for Halo 5, he knew exactly where that player spawned, picked up on it, and actually took him out very quickly. So, reality check, kind of showing that they've definitely taken the few days that we've had this game and used it to their advantage uh, in finding new ways and new strategies and actually learning the spawn system. Another nice kill there for Domi as he's going to pick that one up. Seemingly, it looks like uh, our guys over at Repent Gaming kind of losing themselves a little bit, trying to stay alive, and this is where the aggression from... Reality check is so dangerous. Yeah. Re Repent Gaming not really had any time to kind of get their feet up underneath. And, and now we have 10 seconds to the sniper rifle, and we already have Reality Check kind of uh, surrounding themselves cool. around it. Dome Rock doing a fantastic job. He's going to easily pick up that sniper. Being lit up but he's going to get got a pepper in front of him there in that Mauler area, if you will, in that team's cave now. Hopping over, I do believe that is going to be Joy Slays with the sniper rifle in his backhand. But look, all three members from Repent stuck in red base. And I say stuck because you can expect a reality check push here very quickly if they stay kind of uh, snuggled away in that red base. Joy Slays definitely going to have to put this sniper to use. But they're going to come back in this one. This is still a reality check eight kill lead. Yeah, and, and reality check has a sniper as well, so the advantage isn't as heavy as you think. And now they're going to have to play for these rockets. Actually a very, I actually like this play from Repent. None of them are dying. They're staying alive, getting angles. But now, here comes the reality check push. Yeah. Hopping on board over here with Suddeth One as he's and pushing in. His teammates are dying, but they're picking up kills. And I thought that was poor play from the sniper. I, I'll be honest there. I, I didn't like what he did. He didn't get too many lines of sight. And now, Reality Check is not only going to set themselves up where they're dominating on this side, but they're also going to be able to pick up the rocket pretty soon. Well, we do have one player 
I believe that was the Zaggle that was actually taken out there. So nobody quite in position to pick up the Rockets over on Repent Gaming. That was actually Domi getting taken out as well. And top oh, Rockets, but now Suddeth One putting that sniper to use. This is a really, really nice spot, so just watch over those Rockets. Yeah, Suddeth One isn't going to let anything play him out. He's checking his back, and he's just making sure that those Rockets are going to stay up there and somebody else is going to come grab him. Right, so two members down yet again. There's a, been a couple of pushes from Repent to try to get those Rockets, but Reality Check has done a good job of controlling that area. Now 29 to 13. This one's really starting to slip away from Repent game. Oh, oh, my. That's bad. Finally, a nice snapshot oh there connecting for Suddeth One, picking up that one. The confidence just building here for Reality Check as we have members flying across the map like they own the place. 32 to 14. This one looking very, very ugly if you're a Repent Gaming fan, because this would mean that Reality Check would go up 2-0 in the series. Well, what are you doing about those Rockets? I, I, I don't really understand that. If you're either team, it looks like Repent picked them up. But, I, I mean, if you're Suddeth One, you probably wanted to pick them up at some point. That, or at least sent a teammate over, and that is somebody uh, from Repent with the Rockets. You called that as Hondrolo, but he is going to be Looks like it out doesn't matter. With the scatter shot. No, it's not, because that's going to be Domi with the Rockets trying to connect on a triple kill. Not going to quite find it. 36 to 15. This one, way out of hand. Yeah, uh, and, and the Suddets are looking way more comfortable now that it's a game type that they're used to. Uh, you saw them kind of struggle last game, um, especially in the early rounds, and they had to pick it up, but they look real comfortable here. And it's been really impressive. You know, I got to say, I, I got to give them props. Uh, they've really adjusted more and more as each Halo title has come out. I, for one, have, have had the chance to kind of watch them as they've developed as players and people um, throughout all these Halo titles. And, and, you know, we've already said it once, but it's something I got to note every time I watch them because they definitely are uh, becoming, they're really becoming uh, really nice dudes uh, and really, you know, coming into their own as pro players as well as they bursted through at MCC, uh, Halo MCC. They had a really good season, a few seasons uh, with the HCS, and it looks like they're uh, moving forward into Halo 5 Guardians as well. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the Suddens are, are Halo in a lot of ways, right? They're a lot of what Halo represents. Um, but I'm not going to lie, I still love the video of them two yelling at each other online. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's no, no, still no, my don't favorite. Don't get it twisted. I still enjoy it's that. It's still thing. my favorite. I'm still pulling that one up uh, before I go to sleep every night, not going to lie. 39 to 21. Reality check in the driver's seat. It doesn't look like that's going to change from here. Repent just trying to get anything going. The sniper, too Joe little. Slays, is going to go down. Too late. Not looking, looking pretty slow uh, for the boys in Repent Gaming. But the series isn't over. Uh, going down 2-0, eh. not ideal, but you got capture the flag, or I'm sorry, strongholds on the rig moving forward, and this one's going to be a very, very objective, heavy game type moving into this one. And based off of what we saw here, that aggression might shine through, but then again, it could, you know, kind of come back and bite you in the butt a little bit. We, me and Clutch talked about it in the last series we watched. Yeah. Strongholds, just because you have control of the stronghold area doesn't mean you have control of the map. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see what Repent can do to maybe fight back in the series. Yeah, you have to, you're going to have to move wisely on Stronghold, but, but here's the thing I'm going to say about Repent. You're up 4-3 in the first game type. You lost the last two rounds. Now you get wax 50 to 25 here. The confidence isn't high. Right. Well, the confidence was very high right. seven minutes ago, <laughs> and a, a lot has happened since. And none of those things that happened since are good for you. And, and so now they really have to figure it out and see if they can readjust and, and kind of rethink their strategy here moving forward. Stronghold's going to be a big game type, obviously, but um, – even moving forward, this is the first team that they're playing in this pool, right? And, and so right. this is going to be a long day for them. they got to get it together. Absolutely. And I think, you know, to their advantage, I think that they're going into the most favorable strongholds map uh, out of the entire rotation, the rig. Very simple, at least up until this point. You control basement, you control nest, you control the game. Uh, so we'll see if they can kind of get that concept down. That's been a very popular concept. Uh, moving forward, obviously, Reality Check, they're going to be all over it. They've been playing uh, the mess out of this game, so they're going to be prepared. It's all about if Repent can fight back in this one. Taking a look at some of the stats we had there for you all, uh, obviously, some strong showings here from Domi, 14-5 uh, and five for him, and another strong showing out of Suddeth One, Sud One showing that he wants to be another uh, pro player in this game as well. Uh, Sud One, he, he shines sometimes. Uh, sometimes he has some real big games. This series he's been playing really well. 
so far. Uh, and I'm not going to lie. I don't see the tides changing, okay? It's reality check has picked up the momentum, and they've sucked out the momentum, and now Repent really has to dig in deep if they want to get it together. 